we're prioritizing the relationship over the win. Mm -hmm. And so if there is something that comes up and you feel like you need to just let go and, and, and you're just, you feel all bottled up and it's like, ah, you know, taking that moment to just say, you know what? I, I love and respect you. I don't want to fight. Um, I'm going to step away for a moment or I'm going to go collect my thoughts and I'm going to come back and let's just talk because there is something I want to bring forward that, you know, needs to be addressed. And I'd like to do it in a way that is in alignment with, with us, which is love. Yes. And that in and of itself can solve so many issues just by having direction over your feelings and saying, no, I'm not going to let them take over me. And I'm not going to then let that as a byproduct, you know, fuel an, an unhealthy aspect of a relationship, which then could create a much bigger, bigger problem down the line. You know, I mean, how uh, most relationships, I would say, I think it's a fair thought that most of them start really, really well. I don't think a lot of people go into, you know, especially marriages saying, oh yes, I'm going to get divorced. I can't wait. Yeah. You know, it's can't like, wait no. to divorce day. <laughs> exactly. No, it's like you go in because there is love, because there is, you know, all these beautiful things that we all want to experience and share and connect with. And you feel that with the other person. Well, that can be maintained. That can be the vast majority and when you do have these other feelings, they don't have to chip away and knock down the other thing and then become the majority. Because what happens is, is people allow that and then, you know, you don't want to spend time with that person anymore. You get, uh, you know, you feel resentment and you, you've lost that care. You've lost that love. You've lost that connection. And that's sad because the, because the true, the true essence of what was there could have been potentially uh, curated in a different way. And, and, you know, I'm not, I'm going to, there are some times where there are relationships where there is a, a lot of love and amazing love and there, and it's beautiful and it's palpable and it's incredible. And maybe they're just not a fit and that's okay. Maybe they're just not compatible. It doesn't mean that they fought all the time. Doesn't, you know, they could be very amicable. They could be even best friends, but for some reason it just doesn't necessarily flow. And that's okay. Right. And that's, you know, and these are, you know, we're talking about outliers here, but I want to be able to address every, every aspect as much as I can. Yes. And that's the thing with all of our podcasts and the mm -hmm. tools that we give, right? We have to speak to one, our own experience, because that's truly the, the space where we have the most awareness mm -hmm. Then we can speak from knowledge that we've gained along the way through interactions with others, but it's not going to be a fit for everyone. Yeah. It is going to be information that we really believe is valuable. And if it's valuable to those who are receiving it, great, take it, make it your own in the way that best suits your connection and your relationship. It's beautiful. It's so important to do that. Absolutely. And that's what we do, you know, with, we, it's not like we're sitting here with all the answers. Like we are constantly yeah. searching and understanding from tons of different people, books, other podcasts. I mean, you know, and we're doing our best to synthesize what works best for us. And, and that's really a key aspect of it. You know, it's what, if your goal is to have less fights or even a relationship with no fights, you have to first believe that that's possible. Right. And then you also have to understand, okay, well then what, what can I do to make sure that happens? And then how can I understand my partner so much to where I can recognize when things are bubbling up to have that conversation before it starts to tip over, you know, and then also what tools can I, can I gain to, to mitigate as much miscommunication as possible? So there are factors here that, that, you know, are very logical that we can implement to help us manage our emotions, which are often illogical, <laughs> you know, and, and, and that's how we find balance. And most importantly, like I said, we prioritize the love, we prioritize the relationship, we prioritize our, each other, and we prioritize the respect that we have for each other. That is above all. And so nothing that we're fighting about is more valuable than that which we have together. Thank you.